Welcome to the Stanley Cup Final presented by GEICO. And tonight, it's Game 7. The St. Louis Blues and the Boston Bruins. The captains wear the C on their jersey. Alex Petrangelo is 29, born like most of the Blues in Canada. The 11th season plays more than any skater remaining in these playoffs, about 26 minutes a game, a warrior. Zdeno Chara, 42, 6'9", tallest in history. 14th game, seven, most in history. On a predominantly American team, native of Slovakia, probably playing with a broken jaw, unconfirmed until later tonight. One of these two men, by tradition, will be the first to receive the Stanley Cup at the end of the game tonight. And they will likely be the first two to shake hands after the game is over. But that is then. The fourth line against the fourth line to start the game. Grinding guys against grinding guys for the last of the best of seven. Alex Dean got it along there for Sunquist, and Oscar Sunquist sped it back up the boards, and it's thrown toward the net, and that deflected away is done. Put one in that was blocked aside by Rask. Arbashev just back from being suspended for one game for a hit to the head. Brought back on now for a shot by John Morrissey. Great job by Barubi. Well, ahead with this now comes DeBrus. DeBrus trying to pull his way in. It is rifled along by Perron. Kept alive by Char and Spike White by DeBrus. And dug out in another try by both Krejci and DeBrus that would not go. Duels there. Puck came loose. Dealt on. But can be played now as Marshawn was coming to the bench. It's thrown along by Schwartz. Schwartz able to pick it. Dropped it on back now. Around his next score! Petrangelo with seven points. It was such a long shift for the top lines of the Bruins. Brad Marchand wanted to make a line change. He got caught in no man's land. You see him right there. Then he steps up, goes to make a play. He leaves the ice surface. That leaves Catanzo all alone to come in. And on the backhand, he goes up and over to Karaz. 2-0 lead for the Blues. What a move. Here's Marchand. His man goes here, and what does Marshawn do as Pierre touched on? He goes for the change, at least Petrangelo absolutely wide open. Forehand, backhand over the shoulder of Tuka Rask. <laughs> Meanwhile, nudged across by Marshawn and walked right back ahead by Pasternak. Pasternak trying to work one, and a backhander is sealed up there by Binnington. He drops back defensively as the Blues are able to send it on back. It's taken on by Maroon. Maroon got it on over for play, and his shot was stopped by Rask, and play has stopped the first shot on goal by the Blues this period, five minutes and eight seconds in. Poked across for Corrali, but he is taken out of the play, so back ahead with it is Schwartz. He's got a man in front, Sam, back in the air, off the cross bar, scramble on Fred, what the go? My goodness, another try, and lurching there at the front of the net was Rask as it whistled by. 
Brave Michel with one that went off the goal stick of last, off the crossbar, and stayed out. For O'Reilly. O'Reilly tried to spin one in front, but Moore got it, then lost the steam, and he got the blast from the shot. On the turning stick, now it's Pullman who races back in. Takes his own pass, fires, and that one went wide. Nebraska shot and a save there by the kneeling Bennington. Dished it off the boards behind. Gave it on over to Bullmeister, who was able to swing it to center, but Bergeron got it across. Marshawn steps back in and shoots, and that glove and held by Bennington. Pareko there, fired it around. McAvoy poked it along. It's taken there and given behind by DeBrest. Wraparound try from Kuhlman went wide. Krejci along to the outside. Pasternak. That one slipped on back, and Carlo there. Working it back, Marshawn back to Carlo again. Carlo shot one, grabbed and held by Bennington. Two aside, and then it squibbed onto the corner. Petrangelo wound it around. Gunnarsson tried the other way off a of glass support. Retrieved by Bergeron. Put off a stick and on goal. And another save made by Bennington. Johansson to the deep slot. Tried to jam one along, but in the way was Barbashev. Poked along to the outside, Heine. Here's Heine and a shot. Blocked away by Bennington. Rebound. Another shot by Heine. Slowed down there by Rask and taken on by Tory Crew. Michigan State product able to swagger his way on out, gets it back up the wing, from the shot, and it's snapped up and held by Bennington. Tari tried to work it on three and could not. Closed off there by Gunnarsson, puck to the back, Carlo, and that one kicked free in front by Shen. Gathered up by a cherry save, rebound in front, oh, and Set off with Bergeron. They tried for the redirect, didn't work. Chara pinched along, kept it alive, thrown off in front, but Bomeister was able to block it off there. Carried right back out again by Schwartz. Rolled back down. Tarasenko steps to it. Tarasenko said, What a great score! Braden Shen has made it three to nothing. play by Vladimir Tarasenko. He gives a quick little shoulder check before he gets that puck. He's looking over his right shoulder. He puts it right in the wheelhouse of Braden Shen. And right before that, the opportunity for Joakim Nordstrom. The right pad and a beauty by Jordan Bennington to keep it a 2-0 game. And then shortly after that, Shen O'Reilly doing some very good work out there, but meanwhile, it is sailed on across, and then that tipped further and on out to center. Final five presented by Rocket Morgan as stepping back in and being wedged to the corner with Perron, but he walks right out with it. Perron it across, they score! Again, the Blues have made it 4-0, and it is Sanford, Sanford the New England-born winger, that has made it 4 to nothing. Smiles all around for St. Louis. Watch this play by David Perron. Quick little stick handle, forehand, backhand, and Sanford, all he's got to do is throw those hands to the back of the net. No chance for Tuka Rask. Beautiful play by Perron. The third time around as a member of the St. Louis Blues. Right now at Bush Stadium, Doc. Anxious to get on for a shift if they can get one. Krejci able to give it on across, and a shot by Grizzly. He scores! Grizzly has made it 4-1. to one. Beautiful pass here from David Krejci. Grizzly. Puck was end over end, Doc, and ends up going. Crossbar and in. I think Bennington was expecting a fastball and ended up coming in more as a knuckler. Screened as well, but the Bruins still have some breath in the pod. Down three, 2-10 left. Five, three, two, 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 three, two
55. Craig's able to step by one, wanted to play it on the wing, and it winds up becoming an offside. Craig Berube had taken over in November and lost the first game 4-1 to to Nashville. Gotten routed by the Jets 8-4. to Arizona hammered them in December 6-1 to and then came that new year. And shortly after the new year, the goalie came in, started his first NHL game. They had a defense that would wind up in double digits and shot blocking all the time. They wound up with an 11-game win streak. And things started to become sort of remarkable as they rose in the stand. Trickled back along and it's taken by Krug in the last 35. Sent on back to Krejci, then Marsh on the shot that flew wide. Krug comes back in again and this one popped wide of the glove hand to Bennington. In traffic, reaching for it, Krejci and it pops on back to center and Marsh on yet again. Marsh on spot. 